I'm only going to wait just a couple minutes just to be respectful of time and then I am going to go ahead and get started. I just want to do something while I'm waiting, but like I said again, you guys know how I am. I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Hey, Amir and Nina. Amir, where have you been? What have you been up to? And hey, Nina, how are you? How are you doing today? I'm just looking real quick to see if I know how to invite people. I don't think I know how to. So anyway, I'm going to get started here in a second. I have notes here on a piece of paper. I'm in a hotel. So if anything happens with the connection, let me know. Hey, Julie, we're just waiting maybe one minute and then we're going to go ahead and get started so we can be respectful of time. Um, for those of you that I haven't seen in a while, then you know a couple weeks ago or the last couple weeks we were talking about, what did we talk about? Um, getting past negativity, negative loops. In the first video, we talked more about it from a spiritual sense. And then last week, we talked about it from more of a practical sense. So if you are someone that's struggling, trying to get through negativity, negative blocks, negative hurdles, negative patterns, then make sure that you check out the other two lives that we did the past two weeks. This week, we are going to be talking about motivation. And it's going to be a little bit of a come to Jesus because what's happening is I'm seeing all the lovely comments that you guys are leaving me or you private message me or have conversations with me on discovery calls, consultation calls. And what you are saying to me is that you do not feel motivated. So we're going to have a, a come to Jesus about motivation um, because. Mm, mm, mm. If you wait for that, you're going to be waiting forever. You ain't going to get nothing done. Um, so motivation is a myth. <laughs> That's what we're going to be talking about. And you guys know I always like to combine the left brain with the right brain. So for those of you that are new to this group, just know that I used to call myself a spiritual consultant, but I'm in transition from uh, calling myself more of a personal mastery consultant because I believe that in order to be successful and to realize your true potential, you need to marry two things together. You need to really capitalize on your power. And in order to do that, it starts with tapping into your intuition, but it also starts with using your intellect. It's about being practical but also being spiritual. And when you marry those two together, that is what's going to make you the most successful in your life. And so when I talk about lessons, when I talk about concepts, I come to you from a spiritual standpoint, but I also come to you from a practical standpoint because you need both. Motivation is a myth and y'all know I always have notes. And the first thing that I like to do when we're talking about words that you may think you know what they mean, but maybe not, is set the meaning, set the tone for what I am talking about in this conversation. To me, in this conversation, in the conversations that I've had with you all, when you're telling me that you're waiting to feel motivated about something or that you don't feel motivated about something, to me, it's like you're waiting until you feel like doing something. So motivation is like a feeling or inspiration inside of you that causes you to want to do something in the context of our conversation. And that's a myth and y'all tripping because there's a few things here. Number one, motivation doesn't show up. Motivation does not appear. And then you feel like you want to do something. And if you're waiting to take action on your hopes and your dreams, or if you're waiting to take action on the things that you say you want to do, but you aren't doing them, or the things that you know that you should be doing, but you aren't doing them, then you're going to be waiting for a long time because motivation is a myth. Motivation is not the catalyst for you to start to move and do the things that you want to do, should do, um, aspire to do. Motivation is something that comes after you start to take micro actions, those little 1% micro actions that I always tell you guys about. And then after you realize success from that, then you feel motivated, then you feel inspired. 
rarely are you going to feel motivated to do something before you actually do it. Especially if that motivation is making you do something out of your comfort zone, making you do something that's 100% different and in a different direction than you normally would do. If you think that motivation is what's going to inspire you to make a change, then you are sorely mistaken. What I'm going to tell you a little bit of a story. So in my life, I do a lot of things. I get a lot of things done. It's not at all to brag. It's not at all to um, point a finger and say that I'm better than anybody else because I'm not. But when I do these things, I have people in my life that will say, well, you, you know, they think that I do these things because I was born this way or I inherently find joy from doing the things that I need to get done in order to keep it moving in the right direction. And it is the most frustrating comment that I get in my life because the reason why I go to school or the reason why I do any of the things that I do to propel me in a certain direction towards success is not because I am motivated. If I relied on my motivation, I would be sitting on the couch, I would be reading books all day, I would be eating whatever the heck I want. So it's not motivation. It's discipline. If you are not doing what you want to do, what you need to do, what you said you were going to do, then you need to start to erase motivation out of your vocabulary because you're going to continue to sell yourself short on your dreams, on your potential, because you're waiting around to feel motivated. And you're thinking that everybody else that's getting stuff done is feeling motivated. And that's not what they're doing. That's not what I do when I'm uh, moving in a direction of success, what I'm doing is I am being disciplined and what successful people are doing is being disciplined. So that means they're not waiting till they feel like doing something to do it. And nine times out of 10, they probably are doing things just like you, things that they don't really feel like doing, things that they don't wanna do. But the difference between you and them is that they're doing the things that need to be done no matter what. And that is not motivation. That is discipline. If you want to be a better person, if you want to start to move your life in a new direction, if you want to start to shift out of the negative patterns that we've talked about for the past two weeks, the first thing you need to do is not wait until you feel motivated to improve something in your life. It's about just saying, I want this to happen and I'm just going to make it happen and get it done by taking action. Motivation, again, comes after you start to take action in the right direction. Because once you take action in the right direction, what you will start to realize is like I've always told you that the momentum will start to build and that the energy from a spiritual perspective will start to open up to support you. It's like a car. If a car is dead, it doesn't need wait around for motivation to get going in the right direction. No, there's something that has to happen to move it from inaction to action. And that is some sort of energy toward something and moving in the right direction. And then once those wheels get moving, it's much easier to get that thing to keep moving than to um, try to do it from inertia to moving. I hope that makes sense. That's a weird an analogy, a weird metaphor. But what I'm basically saying is that, especially if you're moving from a place of not doing what you want to do, then the only thing that's going to move you from that place is not to wait for something else. It is to pour some action or energy into it to get it moving. And then from there, it becomes much easier. And that's where motivation comes from. That's what motivation is. It's that energy that fuels you to keep going, not necessarily the energy that has you start the whatever it is that you want to do. So you take action on something you want in the direction that you want. And if you really don't know what you want, you just take action. I always tell my clients, take action differently than you're taking action now. So if you don't like where you are now and you know you want to be something else, but you don't know what it is, just do differently. Take a small step in a different direction. 
choose something that you wouldn't normally choose and then sit back and assess the results of that. And that is how you start to create motivation for yourself. You are responsible for creating motivation in your life. There's not something else that's going to come out and give you that in order to make you move forward. What starts it, what starts your positivity, what starts you flowing in the right direction is discipline. The number two thing that I want to talk to you about, and I kind of touched on it a little bit when I told you guys how people tend to interpret my successes in life and they think that I have more willpower and more motivation and determination than them, when that is certainly not true, I just have more discipline. But I have more discipline because I do what I need to do because it's just who I am. So you have to start to examine who you are too. So if you're not feeling motivated in life, who are you? Like, who do you want to be? And who are you now? And if you're somebody that doesn't have the discipline to start to take a step in the right direction to better your life, then of course you're going to think that everybody is working off willpower, but you don't have more willpower than me. I don't have more than you. We're not born with certain subsets of willpower. What we are born with is an um, ability to be disciplined. And what it comes down to is I know what I need to do because I know who I want to be. And since I know where I want to go, who I want to be, then I know that I'm not going to get there sitting around waiting for this thing called motivation to help me get there. It means that no matter if I like it or not, no matter if I feel like it or not, I'm going to get up and I'm going to do what needs to be done because it's who I am. So the second shift that I would have you to start to integrate in your life is to start to re-examine who you are. Are you somebody that is successful, that wants to be successful, that wants to manifest good things in your life, that wants to learn how to save money or eat right or do any of those things that we most commonly want to do? And if that is the person that you want to be, then do it. You just do it because it's who you are. It becomes who you are. It's like once, and then if you become who you are, based on the goals that you have for yourself, that's the motivation. Because once you see the success and the rewards from the discipline that you've, from the discipline that you developed and from the things that you've achieved from that discipline, then you just continue to move forward. And that's where the motivation comes from. It's the motivation to not go back. It's the motivation to not be who you were a year ago or a month ago or a week ago. It's the motivation to continue to see the rewards from your successes, like those little small rewards that you see in the moment when you are who you say you are and you do what you say you're going to do and you move in the direction that you say you want to move in. It's not willpower. It's not motivation, it's discipline. So start to erase motivation out of your vocabulary. If not, you are going to be waiting for a long time to feel like doing something. Spiritually, and we'll talk about this more later, but the way that you manifest also doesn't come from how you feel about doing something. It comes from a different place. And I need to make a note about that so that I can remember for us to talk about it from a spiritual perspective next week, because I want to give you some tips on how you can start to develop more discipline, which in turn will give you more motivation. Um, and then this is the third thing that I want to talk about. You may have to find motivation. So discipline is from you, and you are the catalyst for whatever happens in your life, whether you want to believe that or not. And if you don't believe that, just perhaps open your mind for a second and pretend that maybe I'm right. And maybe you do have control over the successes or the, the uh, we won't call them for failures, failures, but maybe the successes or the non-successes that you experience in your life. And if you are in control of that, then, you know, you start off with the discipline and moving forward in the right direction. But motivation, while you're waiting to try to get it inside of yourself, 
you may have to get that outside of yourself to help keep you going and help keep you moving in the right direction. And I know some of you know this, right? Um, I'm sure there are some of you that don't like your job, but you get up every day and you go to work and you do what you need to do and you keep it moving. And the reason why you do those things is because maybe you have a family to take care of. Maybe you have children that depend on your income, a family that depends on your income. Or maybe you go to school and you get good grades and you hate it, but you do it because it's what is needed to be done. So that is your motivation. Your motivation could be a club that you belong to, family that you have to take care of, a supportive network of friends, or um, it could even be you actually setting goals for yourself. Goals can be a motivator. It can be something that sparks inspiration to get you moving. None of those things are going to keep you moving in the right direction if you don't learn how to be intrinsically a person that is disciplined toward um, one of your goals or one of your dreams. So I just want to leave you with that. So we have a few things that I left you with four things about motivation that you need to think about and you need to re-examine. And next week we'll go a little bit more in depth with it so that I can teach you a little bit more about some motivational myths that may be holding you back from your true potential. And then I'll also talk to you about motivation from a spiritual component. And then I'll teach you how to shift so that you become more disciplined. Does anybody have any questions about discipline or motivation? Do you find yourself struggling? Um, do you understand what I'm trying to say when I say motivation is not what's going to get you to your goals? Motivation helps you continue in the direction of your goals, but it's your discipline day in and day out that's going to help you get toward them. Anybody have any questions? Let's see. There's a lot of you that were able to show up today. So I'm hoping that by announcing it every Thursday at 7 Central Time, or excuse me, Pacific Time, I will be live. So Thursday, 7 Pacific Time, I go live now with the lesson. I think that's easier for me to be able to touch all of your, all of you that may want to talk to me and ask questions rather than doing it monthly. All right. So I don't see any questions. So I'm just going to leave you with this one little piece of advice. Uh, so the last thing that I think that will keep you motivated and keep you moving in the right direction is by, again, developing a goal, but then also having a step-by-step -step plan where you are actually moving through actions that are going to take you from point A, point B through objectives in order to meet your goal. And so if you find yourself having problems with that and struggling with that and you feel like you need help with getting on your right path, getting a sense of direction, getting some goals in place and learning how to move your life forward, then I have free consultations and I've left a link in the description box of this video so that you can be able to book your own free consultation. Other than that, I will talk to you guys next week.